Star Radio would like to advise that this live shoutcast may contain coarse language and content that may be unsuitable for people under the age of 15. This Game Star Shoutcast is proudly sponsored by OzGamers, the place to go for all the latest PC and console news reviews and downloads. So check out OzGamers.com for all the info. OzGamers, helping you be a part of Australia's games community. Ghost, it looks like the boomer was first to die straight away as he spawned. They have easily killed all four and are making their way up the ladder. They are going in pairs because that is the safest thing possible. We've got all four uh, monsters infected dead. We've got one spawned as it looks like. Yep, all four of them are up the ladder. And that first mini choke point has indeed been avoided. So that was a, a bloody good rush from uh, Audigy, as it almost called Audacity. Audigy as they just make their way through the hunter going in one hunter down, second hunter down, two of them being pounced on them, both of them are indeed killed straight away and after the oh, smoker coming through with a boom on top, what'll happen? So they're just waiting, Audigy's getting a, a bit of a uh, a bit of a slacking as a boomer comes on, boom onto one, two of them and that was indeed a good play, only getting two so needs a bit more DP on the mouse to spin around and get the other two so uh, it was well played for the uh, major trick point in the tunnel, there's only one place to go and that's four. Yeah, so that was uh, pretty good from CBC initially there, cl uh, clearing out that first attack. And of course the risk when you attack early like that is you don't have enough uh, players ready to uh, attack on the ladder. So good rushing there by CBC. A little bit of a delay there with the hoarding and the boomer and uh, that sort of thing. But I think um, everything going according to plan for them at the moment. Not a lot of health has been lost. So we've got uh, Bomb, Stone, Doctor, Slave and Monsoon and they're all pretty much above... Uh, or 60% health, although uh, Monsoon's been taking a little bit of damage, he, he's around about 50% uh, now playing as Bill, so uh, getting a bit of hurt. Oh, three hunters, three hunters! Oh, three hunters, and they have indeed just destroyed them. Boomer comes and pops on one. They've all lost 50% health. A Molotov has been dropped, so they're burning away a bit. Monsoon's the most hurt, but that was well played. Just three simultaneous hunters can be devastating. Another po uh, pipe. No, Molly goes down, sorry. Pipes are going off. Something's happening. They just lost. They're only down to one Molly. The pills have been popped for Slave, and they have lost a good 75 to 50% health on uh, all four four players so that was well played by those boys as we have I think another boomer just above them and 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 a tank yes indeed that is indeed the tank noise so I'm excited all right so that'll be while they're sort of hanging around you outside this uh, door instead of going in and down the stairs so they're just waiting for the tank to spawn there you go and it is going to be a default noob in fact so uh, he spawned as the tank and well, I've, I kind of lost him. Oh, there you go. There, there he is. I'm going to see. Um, oh, Boomer got destroyed. Person. Yeah, so here comes the tank. Oh, he's on fire straight away. So they had uh, an, a third molly, but he's uh, managed to take out one. In fact, uh, we've got one in cap already. Uh, yep, uh, one in cap. He's one. getting picked up. But uh, Medic uh, as the tank, oh that's what happened, uh, Medic uh, picked up the tank, he's on fire and he's taken a lot of damage, he's had to retreat down the stairs to sort of get out of the way, so only one got in cap but uh, brought up very very quickly, and um, well I'm not really sure, I think um, Azure he's probably waiting for the rest of his team to spawn. Indeed, they've got one spawning now, but the uh, monsoon is down and he's slowly ticking away. There we go, I do hear indeed a smoker, I think the word is, and a, uh, a hunter about. So let's see what will happen now as the smoker fails his first tongue lashing, but he goes through and goes for the uh, the scraping. The tank has indeed died from being on fire too long, and they have survived the first major onslaught. Slave and monsoon sitting on a basically backup health now so and we've got bombs and stone still with a bit of reserve health and one little major choke point until the uh, end of the map for the first safe room
Yeah, so they're downstairs now, and uh, in this room that's got the kind of the machinery and the pumps and the things like that, or whatever they are. I think it's transformers, maybe, or something. And um, just uh, getting themselves ready to go on the outside. Uh, in the meantime, Team Autogy have spawned, so uh, or they're in spawning state and are setting up. Uh, well, they're not setting up outside. In fact, they're going in for the attack on the inside. There you go. That was unexpected, I think. And uh, they've come in, got a couple of good pounces on. Slave from the CBC is on like three health, and Monsoon is on maybe five health. Um, but they do still have uh, one bottle of pills in hand and four med packs. So now they're heading on to the outside. So we might see a bit of pouncing action going on here. We've got this valley going on. A pipe bomb goes out, and that's going to clear most of the horde away. Um, but uh, Autogy will come through now. Of course, they've got to spawn still because they went for the attack on the inside. And uh, yeah, they come now, um, Azure, and we've got a pounce on uh, from Medic. Oh! We've got three hunters look to be, I uh, think that was three hunters, as uh, one of them hits Monsoon but gets picked up straight away. The other two coming through and are uh, getting destroyed straight away. The boomer comes in and it's just an onslaught in front of the door. Monsoon running upstairs, which isn't the best place to go. Yeah, sure I mean, why did you do that? some more pills. Oh, pills, that's, that's fair enough, because pills are so important and they add to the, uh, the final score. Oh, do they indeed? Is well, it, there you go. It? So, uh, very I good think thinking so. by uh, the CBC. And uh, they managed to get through. Did they have all of their health? I think they used one health no, pack. No, one health pack was used. And I don't have a pen. Mm. So, what's that? 1,100. 1,100. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hold on. I've got a pen. I'll write it down. So, that was uh, good games or, or, or a good round for CBC, I think. Getting through, only having to use one health pack. There you go. Hit the spectate button. And we are spectating. So, on the return now, it's going to be Team Autogy. And we'll see if the CBC sets up a similar attack early on. Or if they uh, go for a, um, a primary attack on the bridge. So, there you go. Teams have so said that looks, they're ready. looks to be... Yeah? Looks to be they have a hunter just by the uh, the bridge, just keeping it safe. They've got the boom and the smoke, and another hunter just at the front, hoping to hold off enough time to get a respawn. I think the smoker might be falling back just to make sure the hunter is always oh, going up for one of those 25 pounces. Yeah, he's I'm up pretty him. big. As I'll, I will scroll. Oh, sweet! I'll let you follow through him, and I will go through the eyes of the uh, the what do you, you call them? The survivors, the humans. The lucky, well, unlucky guys, not to be infected. I'd rather be infected than uh, survive, to be honest. So they know it's coming because um, at uh, they're at the bridge and they haven't had any attack on them at all. And here we go. Monsoon is getting himself set up. He's going to go for somebody at the top of the ladder, I think. Oh, and um, Stone so Doctor. Just, oh, he's just waiting, waiting, waiting for his opportunity. So, so get this demo, Stone Doctor. Yes, that's that's right, Stone Doctor at the top here. Um, and I have him in first person, so if he pulls this pounce off, we're going to have it on the demo. And uh, there you go, they fainted right and they've gone left now, so that's a, a bit of a disappointment there. We won't see a 25 pounce. Um, and here they come. He gets somebody on the top oh, of the ladder, but luck. not enough uh, to push him down. Um, and, um, well, I mean, he gets a little bit of damage, but it's certainly no 25 pounds, um, as you. No. It wasn't. That was bad. Like, if they can manage to knock him down, that's always a, a little drop bonus. It's like um, one of the maps. You can get a huge pounce on the final run. It's yeah. down the, uh, the manhole. And you get this cool sound. There you go. I just yeah, played the sound. I've got it on my soundboard. <laughs> I don't think you can hear so it, though, uh, as you're so. Sorry. No, I didn't. I didn't. So sad face. <laughs> You'll have to come round when I've got my video casting set up and uh, do some video casting with me. Then you can it's see all the craziness. It's most definitely. Wicked. I'd love to see a soundboard as well. We'll never see one. I know, it's just one on my computer, man. I'll send you a link uh, oh. after this game. Yeah. So, uh, not much going on uh, on the in the actual game. Uh, if we can come back to it. Oh, and just as I say that, we've got a double pounce come in and a smoke goes down. So, fantastic work there from... Uh, Team uh, CBC getting a great uh, combo in, and the boomer comes in to finish things off and gets a double boom. So, 
Uh, well, Audigy not really having to work very hard to clear away that hoard. They're in this kind of side passage near the van and the hole in the roof. So they're able to defend it. They've got a couple of uh, uh, propane tanks and um, a petrol canister. So they seem to be set up. Oh, and a, and a Molotov. Oh, there you go. Molly. Molly. So there, is, uh, there will be a tank coming up. So we all know that as we wait for it to happen. It is basically the inevitable right now as we've got all four infected spawning. But I can't seem to see the ghosts. There we go. There's one hunter. There's two hunters. And anything else? As I looked around, trying to see someone. Yeah, th we got two hunters uh, sort of forward, bouncing off the walls. Oh, There's the boomer hunters. behind the truck. And uh, I think, he, does does he get a boom at all? I think he fails uh, completely. And oh, um, sure. yeah, he misses all all, uh, all the players. So he's now sort of trying to camp in between them, get them to shoot him. But uh, they're not g g falling for the bait. Uh, there you go, he's just getting pushed away. <laughs> it's quite funny. Longest surviving boomer ever. <laughs> and there he's down as yeah. So, uh, Audigy, now they just had one in cap there. In fact, it was Zoe. And that was played by Jazz. So, she's up and on 30 health at the moment. And they're still waiting for the tank. So, they're slowly moving into those uh, the stairs where it did spawn. And. Yep, there's the tank music, as uh, we've got Audigy, Mr. Face, just waiting, looking at the uh, the gas tank. And he's oh, there you in go. A, a petrol tank as well. Yeah, so this so is a, indeed a good setup. We've got the smoker and the boomer waiting over the tin shed. If you can't see where that is, no, that's the hunter, sorry. So we've got, no, the boomer is waiting behind the... Uh, the hole in the uh, hole in the roof, the tank, the, the tank, the tank, and the smoker, and everything just spread out in a, in a nice way. We'll wait for the boomer now. Oh, jumps. smoker fire! Oh, did he get anyone there? No, no, no. The smoker was taken down before he could even stick his head out the doorway. So the tanks come through, and he's kind of on his own. He's on fire, and he has taken damage from an exploding propane tank. So, uh, yeah, well, there you go. He does well to take uh, a hit at Medic and knock him down, but not in-cap him. And there you go. He is dead. So, Autogy doing very well there, I think. In fact, they did much better with the tank. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, defend they did much better with the tank and defended against the tank much better um, than the CBC so well said at the moment uh, what do we have in terms of the health stakes we've got Autogy on about I don't know two health uh, sorry um, he's pilled it up so he's on about 45 health and um, default noob sitting on about two health as Bill Jazz has used a med kit so that's one med kit down and Mr. Face on about 25 percent health as you they're doing okay. That's fun. The uh, the CBC boys used uh, a med pack at, at about the same time. As the boomer comes and gets one or two of them, the smoker comes and gets a tongue destroyed by the boom explosion. As the horde onslaught just starts sort of rushing in. As default noobs are locked outside and he's burning alive. You can see the I who just barely played. As they're just going to watch him slowly burn away. Oh no. That's yeah. probably the worst place to be. Lying down in a, in a pool of fire. Yeah, well, at least he didn't oh, have the horde be, down, be No, they they got rid of it on time. So um, and he wasn't boomed. So I don't know if that's lucky or not. But hey, and is that is that more horde music or just more as aesthetics? As nah, I find more pipe aesthetics. bombs sitting on. So we got uh, a yeah. packet of pills, a bottle of pills for default noob, and uh, he was down and out and uh, on fire. So. Um, he's going to take those pills, I think, as soon as they come out here into the valley. So, Audigy just about to leave um, uh, leave the tunnels and head out into this open area. Um, and there you go, they're out. They threw a pipe bomb to the left and then headed right. So, they try to go around the rock. Oh, oh double uh, pounce and, and a boom. Combo going big. Flounces is down. The second health pack has been thrown out. They managed to throw off a second pipe bomb, but it's in. It's in. Uh, Another pounce. It's not going to work. A six damage pounce, I think it was, but he got knocked off straight away. So that's. Uh, ooh, it's just an onslaught happening right now. That was Lots well played. All four are dead, and they basically have a nice walk straight to the uh, the the room, the safe room indeed. Yeah, lots and of red they players, but they're going to get one. in, I think. And they'll... Oh, wait, yep, the smoker comes in, oh, he goes no, for oh. one, and he misses. 
So a little bit of excitement right there at the end for Team Autogy uh, as the smoker came in from the CBC. But uh, not enough, and well, it is so close. 992 as year after the first round. So 992 to the 110. Most amateur survivor was Bombs of the 199. So that's well played there. So they put on a shit voice. La la la. Yeah, um, and, uh, you know, that, that, that is just so close. And I think, well, I mean, I was saying that they were doing so much better, but um, I guess they were just really even Stevens there. So a good first round for this match and setting us up for a good close one. So sorry, we got to just ready up quickly. <coughs> ready up. <laughs> ready up. There you go. And you get the slow bobs. Yeah. <laughs> All players ready. Match will be live. So we're into the second map. And just by the skin of the teeth, CBC are holding on to that number one spot. And match is live as you take it away. So this part of the map, they start in the room underground on the sewers. They have a bit on the left and on the right. You can see the boomers, smokers, hunters, whatever the hell you want up there, or sit them behind. And they have a chance to go right through the pipes to an upstairs bit where they lead to a pew choke point or go straight ahead. Uh, past a little hole in the thing. It, it, it's a bit of a, uh, a straight run, but it can be quite dangerous. Leaves them prone to some huge jumps, but it also avoids the chance of losing one at the top of the ladder as they open the door. Here comes the first onslaught. They all go straight right, which is a good way to avoid everything. The first one, Stone Doctor's killed. A smoker comes out, manages to get one, but gets a... Uh, just, he just gets battered away, which is just never fun. And just like that, all four are dead. So they killed all four, two hunters, two smokers, two hunters, one smoker, one boomer, sorry. And they take the straight ahead, avoiding the uh, the chance to be picked off on the top, which is the most dangerous way I've ever seen. I don't know why anyone would take it. Just those pub boobs. <laughs> and they have come to the major choke point as they find a, a second pistol. They make sure to pick it up and just every zombie in the world happens to be here and they're prone to 25, or not 25, but 10 pounces. And they have just rocketed straight through up to the... Uh, the first oh, crescendo event of the map. Boomer! Boomer comes in and goes, takes down one, takes down two, gets two of them. Hunters come in and just onslaughting. The, the horde is coming in and just destroying them. Jazz is wow. down. Medic's on half health. Mr. Face is on half health. Noob's the only one surviving this if they can't seem to get them up as the, the horde just keeps on coming. So that was well played there. Or well played indeed. This just everything happened just then. I even missed it just talking about the crescendo event coming up, which is indeed the first. Uh, drop bridge where the tank usually spawns as well. Yeah, so that was a great uh, four, four man combo or four infected combo, I guess, from Team Autogy because, uh, sorry, from CBC. Uh, they had three players down, pounced at one tank, stage. Tank, 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 tank. Oh, where's the tank? Oh, there you go. He's, uh, he's uh, in the crescendo room. So uh, he's running around at the moment. We had one player pounced, and uh, well, they've all dropped down and left the left the petrol canister behind that they had found. So that's a, a, a bit oh disappointing. No. Although uh, the tank would have gotten himself um, uh, put out the fire in this area over here. So there you go, one in caps. So you got two in caps, Azure. Two in caps, and uh, the tank is indeed dead, but here comes a huge horde as he comes and just drops on it. A huge surprise. Threw them down. So it's a default noob in the form of Lewis to take down the tank, and he gets pounced. They only have to just shoot him off them. He's on 50 health. He's just getting scraped, scraped. He's on 25 health. The tank comes in to just shield him, and they have indeed won it there. <coughs> huge as I just forget to swallow it and how about it. I mean, that, that was pretty massive. 55 points. That was epic. Wow. So, Autogy, I, th I really felt Autogy were in command. I was about to say when they got to that first choke point uh, that uh, they had grabbed this match by the balls and were really in control because they, they kind of walked out of that first area no problem. And um, they had done some, you know, clever delaying to tactics on this on the smoker and um, well here we go da -la 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 -la. boom comes the tank and uh, 55 points for that round so not a good haul at all but we'll have to see as you whether um, CBC can do any better they do have a, a audacity or oddity sorry has a lot of stress on them now as the uh, the first lot goes through smoker gets one two boomer drops on down picks up three of them 
So that is indeed a good start. Well, there's only one smoker left alive. No, he's dead. He's dead. Very, he very, very, very dead. As that, was a, that was a three, 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 so that's pretty good. Indeed, so I'd, I'd give that I'd give that an 8 out of 10. It was yeah. well played. He just missed the last one by about a centimetre. The, the, the drop didn't quite make it. The wind wasn't in its favour. <laughs> well, you just got to compare That's how hard gross. CBC had to work to get out of that area in comparison to Team Autogy. And, um, well, you'd, you'd think CBC were at a disadvantage, but they've pretty much got 90% uh, of their health across the board. And are uh, into the choke Three Pounces coming through, as yeah. Oh no, they 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 stuffed up. Oh, I almost swear there. They they stuffed up the three hander. Only one of them picking up the uh, the other two getting battered away like flies. The boomer drops down and gets, gets exploded. E D D D halfway as they just make their way past this first uh, little mini choke point. There doesn't seem to be a second pistol next to the bullets, which is just bad luck for them. Bad roll as they're just waiting for Zoe to 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 pick her ass up and move up with the rest of them. They know there is a tank going to spawn, so they will try and fish that out any way possible. They've got four of them spawning, so they have to be careful. And I will switch to this spectator so I can hear the tank. So, uh, do you hear it yet? No, I don't hear the tank at all, and I can tell you that we've got nothing flammable anywhere nearby. So, um... Oh, great work by Monsoon. Goes around into this little side room and uh, takes down a hunter solo and uh, he'll be feeling good about himself. So none of the players... Oh, there you go. Now they are dropping down into the crescendo room. There's the tank music. And uh, that sets off the tank. So here comes the tank, and they're running back up, and they're going to be running back, I guess, and hoping to get... Um, well, they're just going to have to out-damage the tank to get past this point. That is the best way to do it. Just funneling bullets straight to him. There's only a few places to hide there. They're gonna, he's gonna try and throw one. And he, oh, he manages to miss Bill just by the uh, the nose, the nose on his hair, the hair on his nose. That he just gets starts getting popped by a few shotgun shots. He's got oh, a bit of backup. Oh, smoker comes in, one in the tank, rushes forward, uh, gives him a smack and knocks him off the tongue, but uh, doesn't manage to do significant damage. I, I would say. Um, and um, now the CBC are pushing forward to try and uh, take down that. Uh, in fact, they do take down the smoker, and now they're chasing the tank, who's running away, uh, running away like a little girl. So, so they're just, they're just going to try and wear him down, or just I don't know. It's just it's just a matter of a, a time right now. They don't want to start the crescendo event without without uh, whatever you call it, getting rid of the tank. And um, Audigy Auditor Audigy have a lot of stress on their back right now, just waiting for um. They have to win this basically. They have to win this as the tank changes person. Yep, it changed to medic. I'm not sure who it was before, but they are. They will have to rush it soon because it will be breaching the rules if they leave it out twice. As there you go, a coordinator strike and then Boomer pops onto one. Hunter gets the throw, but the tank is just like popped down and said, How do you do? I'm going to pick on the one that was boomed. As she, she gets, I'm not sure who it is. It's Stone Doctor. Who? Stone Doctor. Oh, it's Lois. And he gets absolutely smashed as he's down it. There we go. Stone Doctor's yeah, down do first in cap. Well done by the tank. Yeah, and he was boomed as well, so he's got Horde all over him. He's now in the red. Uh, but where is that tank? I can't find him. I'm just going to cycle through. Oh, there you go. He's there moved upstairs. So that was a great coordinated strike there, but um, very well responded to by the CBC. And now the tank is behind CBC, so they're going to be pushing forward back up the tunnels here and towards the crescendo room. So they had run a, they sort of run down the tunnels to give them a bit of space. And uh, now here comes the tank. He's dodging through pillars. Um, to try and get himself uh, in position as two hunters oh, come in. Well they get the pounces Tunters. on, the tank comes forward and uh, manages to get a beat down on one. The smoker get, gets a uh, third, um, but they are still up. CBC are still up. The three players are still up. And uh, there you go. As the tank is down. down the tank. As the hunter goes in for a, for a scrape, just a little back scratch, get right to the spine. He's good at that. So, uh, looks like Audigy have lost this little bout right there. They are, if they push that button, oh, there we go, nice little little trick there to just jump up and push it. That starts it straight away and wastes no time being smoked or pounced. And here we go, the uh, crescendo of it, number one. So they've set themselves up in uh, sort of two spots here on the crescendo, I'll call it the crescendo platform, 
um, with two of them in this uh, little gate. And there you go, Pounce comes through as the Horde pushes down, and uh, that's one player down. He's in the red. Uh, he's now back up, but he's got like one health. And but, whoa, four oh. man boom! Four man boom, so the and gate is open, two, the two casino down, is on, but uh, we've got one player in captors here. Oh, and Zoe with about half a half a bar, half a bar from the but she pops some pills in time. They're still all boomed, and the uh, they're still coming towards them, and they're going to make their way across that little uh, bridge and into possibly into this room. I can't see what the hell's in here because I don't have night vision. But let's uh, there we go. There's nothing in the health box. That's just shit luck. That is shit luck. Yeah, they they just get a little bit of ammo, so. Uh, no dual pistols and no health, uh, but they did find a little bit of pills as uh, a, well there you go, we've got a oh, smoker comes in and uh, pulls Bill down, and uh, well the boomer doesn't manage Oh, and anybody. a boomer comes in and just destroys him. Oh, yeah, but he did actually get one, sorry, uh, on the platform above, so uh, they throw a pipe bomb out and uh, that's enough to get the rest of CBC back up stairs and down into the tunnel. So, uh, very well handled in the crescendo room, especially regarding the tankers, yeah? Indeed, I will give that a 9 out of 10. Oh, <laughs> so we've got our monsoon moving in by himself, I know. I'm giving out my points like, like, a, like a slut. <laughs> I should lose to control them. Oh, there Smoker we go. In, Everything's happening now. Double, double pound smoking. Oh, what's happening now? Well, we've got a smoker scratching the back of uh, Stone Doctor. We do have players up and they finally free him up. Uh, so we only have... Uh, oh, boom, man, well played. played. <laughs> Quadruple boom! And the Horde comes oh, in. Oh, and oh, oh, is, is he going to be destroyed? Is he going to be killed? Oh, he's dead! Lowe's is dead! And another so one is down. Kept. Oh, this is intense. This is intense. They are going to stop them no matter what. This is Autogy's goal, just to stop them from making their way in. One pounce, Bob's almost down, Zoe is down, Stone's down, two of them pounce. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, pouncing, everything's happening right now. Oh, Zoe's down, Bob's down, Stone Doctor is the last one alive. What will happen? We're going to go, oh, oh, this is just, this is, oh, I can't, I can't take the action. <laughs> oh, this is, this is too much. Yeah, there yeah, we go, they're over. all down, and they finish with 72 points. Man, that was absolutely relentless from Autogy, never say die. Uh, they just kept the pressure up um, just after, well, what's that, 94 points for the CBC. Um, so Autogy just kept the pressure up just after that crescendo room, um, managing to get one play into the black and white. And even though they had two health packs, they just didn't have enough time to heal. Um, and, um, well, that player was down, and then it was just... I don't know, it was like playing leapfrog or something like that, taking turns, taking players down. And, well, 94 points to 55 for the second map as year. So CBC still managing to extend their lead by a tiny bit there. Indeed, it is as I push the reading out key, which is indeed tight ready so haha ha, we'll wait for Mr. Mr. Crisis there we go so uh, face is the last one to ready up now I will run you through this one quickly where they start in the train heading out into the train yard they have the chance to go up into the three story watchtower where they can pick up tier three weapons well they were there on that restart we'll wait for the second restarts to happen but this area is huge a lot of uh, a lot of shit can happen right here and um, it's just tanks can spawn, everything can happen, and indeed tier 3 weapons are on the top of this uh, this room as the boomer sets up next to them, nope, on the roof, hoping to jump down along with a hunter smoker comes in behind the, the tracks and the other hunter sits on the other side, so uh, they've got a pretty good setup here as the uh, the survivors, being the CPC boys, stay ready as they wait for the infected to um, or at least echo that. So quickly they run through the train track going up the ladder past the uh, broken uh, apartment buildings. They can get smoked off through a little gap in the wall. They go across the train, jump down and leg it down the, the mini highway road past the bus where uh, there might, might be a witch if I can listen nice enough but now there seems to be into a little uh, safe room where there we go, everything's happened, they move through the house. This map is huge coming down past the ambulance to the uh, to the church where a bell is rung by a very annoying bastard and um, they get a little mini crescendo events as Monster moves up to the third floor I'll let you take the rest of it
Yeah, there you go. So he's found the weapon. So everybody will head up uh, the little control tower and fetch those T2 weapons. Let's just have a look. We haven't been calling weapons, so let's just see if we can spot. We got a couple of super shotties. Uh, in fact, I think they probably. I think they've all got super shotties. Nobody's gone for the assault rifle or for the hunting rifle. No. Nope. And uh, a little bit of a, a, a team uh, team damage going on over there. And that was Francis that was doing that. So Monsoon, big shout out to Monsoon. And the, the second attack from the infected on the uh, smoke. Smoker comes in, he goes uh, for a ton grab and uh, pretty much gets knocked off straight away. Um, and um, well, that's uh, two attacks defended very well by the crazy Bill Clan here on the Cyber Gamer Left for Dead ladder. And now they are heading to it's the train station. Yep, they take the downstairs bit first where they find a pipe bomb and a, and a shitload of uh, petrol tanks moving in through each room, just giving a quick little skank, if you can't see it by the door, it's not worth going in, they might have uh, missed some pills, I'm not entirely sure, but they get boomer, but they have indeed made it across and they all need to jump down or something bad will happen, they're all boomer, I'm watching through the wrong eyes as uh, I'm stuck. I'm um, watching through, there we go, Slave looks like two, maybe three of them have been boobed and they're just like defending off the horde like nothing, they have this They have this level pretty sorted and there is some tank music so I'm, I'm excited for the tank and I'll let you call it. Yes, yeah, so not sure exactly where the tank is, uh, they did really really well to Very get across away. that bridge, um, a lot of times the teams can get bogged down over there, smoke it and hunted, uh, smoke it and pounced off those, uh, those train tracks and back to the area with the train station but uh, now they're across and the tank is at the bus at the moment and uh, he is being played by default new so I'm gonna spec him at the moment he's just throwing rocks at the moment we've got a double boom that's come in and uh, so he's using that to push forward now one of the players has become isolated so I think the tanks gonna go for him now yep it's Lewis and BAM Lewis gets a smack to the face from the uh, from the tank and uh, I'll just tell you who's Lewis it's bombs and he is just Ooh. about to be in capped he is but he heals up just in time unless uh, he can throw a, a whatever you call them rock I forget the name of rocks what's wrong with me yeah so he has healed up so that's one med pack down and we've got a set of pills still in hand as well for the CBC so they're pushing forward now the tank doesn't have any support right now so he's just sort of hanging far away as he can um, and uh, throwing rocks heading down ra around the right hand side now as two hunters coming go for the pouncers and the smoker comes in to grab a third and uh, now the tanks gonna be rushing in no he doesn't as you uh, tank gets cock blocker I guess and has to go and hide behind a rock damn cock block by uh, by bullets that's not cool he's out of the open I don't think he realized it yet but he's gonna throw a rock a bit too high yes oh they, they destroy it mid which is very hard to do I must add and he just throws rocks everywhere he's hoping to uh, at least pick up a little spray damage here we go he's got a few friends spawning now as he just picked up a lot of damage we've got the boomer what's the boomer gonna do he's gonna throw a bit more rocks we've got uh, hunter smoker boomer coming in the first hunter goes through the boomer gets destroyed the hunter gets destroyed so it's all up to the smoker to offer a little bit of our backup so let's see what what will happen now the uh, the tank is pretty much getting destroyed by bullets throwing rocks as much as he can they just wait they have they have uh one fuel tank. Oh, he's got a car. Two he's got himself up. a car. Oh, he's got a car. I don't know why I didn't I think bring he just in the that. Place. I mean, he should have been smacking the car around and uh, pushing it forward. And there, he's just knocked the car over his head uh, behind himself. So now he's leaving the car behind. Oh, and um, really, uh, just trusting on uh, his teammates to set up an attack so that he can come in and finish off the player. So there you go. We've had a single hunter spawn. And I'm going to stop following first person here because he's not doing so well, I don't think. Um, and uh, there you go. The smoker comes in, grabs one, but uh, the super shotties take care of him quite easily. It's still default noob as the tank, and really all he's doing is now wasting time uh, for his players to respawn. They're going to have to spawn a third time because that's two attacks that they've not been able to uh, use. And uh, CBC now, Azure, are picking up that um, it's almost over for this tank and going in for the kill, pumping him full. Of bullets. Oh. 
Oh, and he's finally on fire. He's going after the car for dear life, trying to flick it away. Is uh, no, he manages to fail that one. I'll follow through his eyes, and he can't seem to get any leverage on it now. So that's just bad luck. That the uh, one of them is booming. So what's he going to do? He's just going to stand on it. And oh, there we go. He's going to go mental now. Seeing the uh, car flying, can he get it off in time? No, he can't. Oh, this is just bad luck. And the yeah. tank is finally down. Oh, that was uh, probably the longest tank life I've ever seen. Yeah, it was very long and, and uh, fairly uneventful. So um, there must be some sort of pro thing that involves not actually using the car as much as I would have expected because they didn't use that car at all and then they got it all stuck up. Uh, but uh, CBC now pressing forward and uh, into the little hut. And uh, I, did they find any help? Oh, they found some pills, I think, because uh, they now got two packets of pills and a pipe bombs still in hand heading down the road now and uh, to the cottage um, heading into the cottage now there's a boomer waiting for them there and a couple of hunters come in that's oh, one pounce. well played yeah and a smoker comes in that's and another pounce so that's uh, three players that got taken down um, but really not coordinated enough boom on one and, player. A boom. and uh, really um, Audigy is not really getting the timing down perfectly against CBC as you're they, they're coming in no they're not you know they get like a one two three four instead of a mass attack simultaneously taking players down there's only there's, I reckon there's two ways to play as an infected you can either do it all in one devastating wave or send them out in drips and drabs just to keep them guessing and surprised but you have to do very well to do that just sending one out every 10 seconds it's a, it's a lot of hard work but they are moving up to the uh, what do you call it the ambulance the ambulance car which is indeed meaning they are closer they have three hunters behind it oh here we go Pounce, 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 and oh, Medic has killed Smoker Midia. Smoker managed to pop on one, but he gets destroyed straight away, and they just get uh, devastated. They all yeah. pounced straight into them, and they had shotguns, so they just pretty much clicked like their life, and, and they got it. So they're going to move past, they're in the graveyard now, moving past the little hut into the church, and he, as he calls them, uh, must be pills. Yep, it's pills. There's four pills for everyone now, so uh, they could have disco mode happening too, where everyone pops the pills at the same time <laughs> and start tripping. Bit of, bit of Pac-Man, uh, old schools, yeah, bit on the Cyber Gamer Left for Dead. Challenge for number one spot. Smoker comes in, grabs one just before they go into the church and gets himself destroyed uh, for his trouble. And uh, we've got a bit of flames outside now as uh, CBC head into the church and they've set off the event. So this is... Have they set off the event? Oh, yeah, there we go. The yeah, bell's go. going off and the boomer gets, uh, Ding dong. gets cop blocked by a door. Ding dong! So, I've never actually seen No, I think this room should be outruled. You think so? It's too easy to defend you. Yeah, they're, they're sitting on a weapons uh, the module where they can just pick up and automatically reload straight away. It's outruled on the uh, the map we last shoutcasted in, in the final crescendo event, which is pretty much the same as right now. They don't even have to uh, do anything apart from you know just look down and get some uh, get some ammo just straight away, just like popping it. At least one person does it. It just seems a bit unfair to me. Just this room in general. They got plenty more rooms in the church. Yeah, that's my little ramp. And Cybergamer have been really good about uh, making sure that uh, they can't ha have the sort of, you know, setting up things so that the infected actually have a chance in the uh, crescendo or, in, yeah, in the in the final event. Um, but I guess uh, they haven't gotten onto this map, so maybe we should speak to Zombie or IC Nims uh, after this match and just mention, well, this is what the, the, the teams are going to do. And you can't blame them for doing it. I mean, if they if they can do it, then... No, it's uh, perfectly fine. Should. Yeah. Spawn camping is a legitimate strategy, is uh, one of my favourite sayings. Pounds upon me. There we go. There's a little mini, uh, mini this jump coming class. on right now. Boomer comes and gets a few of them. It's their last... Uh, what are they doing now? That's failing right now. The boomer was, I think, a bot. As they wait for Lewis, get your ass in there, Lewis. There we go. There you go. And they have so finally made it in. All with 75 health, three health packs, and a set of pills. And they're sitting on... Boom, boom, boom. 1501. 
15.01 for the map, so that's pretty good. That's actually the highest score for a round that we've had so far. So very well done there to CBC, who hold number one spot and are getting challenged by Team Audigy here on the Cyber Game Elect for Dead, brought to you by Gainstar. Get on. So we are into the third map of this death toll uh, challenge. And uh, it's going to be Team Audigy who have to reply to a 1,501 score. So um, if you want to just take it away, Azure, I'm going to just do some math and uh, just see where the teams are. Indeed, indeed, looks to be, comes the first, a boomer comes down, jumps, gets destroyed straight away, Smokey having him, the uh, boomers on two of them, there's still a hunter on one person, that was Bill, he gets attacked for about uh, 20 health, but Jazz, who's Zoe, gets attacked for about 15, as the uh, the first tool comes on through, and that is pretty much stopping it right now, they're going to make their way up to uh, the, the third floor, hopefully, because, you know, there, there definitely will be some weapons up there, as I can tell. And uh, we'll just see what will happen now. The the uh, infected are slowly just filter feeding themselves through up to them, trying to see if they can get anything. And the uh, infected have indeed respawned. And so uh, looks to be one boomer and three hunters. I can't tell from these ghosts, but one boomer, three hunters. If I had to put my money on it, so this could be a bigger. Uh, a big something something coming up now. Yep, three hunters as they just start passing now. And oh, there's a huge pounce was just missed by a fraction. The boomer comes in and bam, one, two of them down just like that. So uh, that is indeed good. And we'll throw the big thanks to uh, Oz Gamers for uh, making all this possible for the GameStar members and bringing us their lovely Shoutcasting Network. So that I should put that out there. Don't you agree? <laughs> and how's Absolutely. your mess going? How's your mess? Uh, yeah, well, I'm finished doing my maths, but uh, of course it was a bit of a silly time to do that because we've got three rounds completed by CBC and only two by Audigy, so I'll just hold off uh, giving you those totals y just yet. So Team Audigy, as survivors at the moment, have gotten themselves to the train station. So this is where CBC just rushed across and uh, had no problem at all getting um, over into the next part of the map. So we'll see if Audigy can do the same. They've just cleared out the downstairs room and got some uh, petrol canisters. And uh, now they're heading across again and uh, just cleaning out the top rooms, I guess. And uh, well, we've got Francis now uh, heading out on his own. There you go. They're just throwing a couple of things. The, the smoker likes to camp in these trees over here, so they've thrown a gas. Oh, they did the bad thing going in there. What, what, what's happening? If, if they go in there, they have the chance to be smoked off and down, which will just cause them to waste time and have more spawns for oh, the yeah. uh, infected. So this could be very dangerous. We've got a uh, hunter boomer waiting upstairs. Lost to be um. No, where's the smoker? The smoker hasn't spawned yet, so we can't watch him. Well, but, uh, no, the, the, he's, 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 he's there. He's out. There we go. Uh, there you go. He's behind the trees. He's coming in for the smoke. There you go. He's got his hands on Francis, but Francis gets uh, freed before he gets pulled down. Boomer drops down off the roof. He's got a double. Uh, smoker comes in, gets uh, 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 gets one, but uh, that gets pulled off again. And, um, well, uh, the, the horde's coming in and uh, focusing on these two players that got uh, puked on. And, um, well, Audigy dealing with that okay, I guess. Uh, we've got one player that's quite low in health. He's only got about 20% health, and that is Medic. So for some reason now, instead of pushing forward, they are just hanging back again. And, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. The smoke has uh, respawned. Oh, no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't think, think he died in the first place. Yeah, but the, there's some fire on him, so that's uh, smart to do. It looks like Francis is going after him, and he pulls, pulls. Can he get him? No, he kind of gets killed, which was just some bad luck. Their default noob gets... Oh, pounces. Oh, Two pounce, but blown up straight away. Oh, there we go. No, always oh, the third pounce. It's happening. No. No, 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 we only had two bounces, and then we got that, yeah, we got those bug sounds going on. So that was quite weird because uh, Francis, who's played by Mr. Fass, I've been told to call it Mr. Fass. So Mr. Fass, um, he he actually dropped down. He, he, he wasn't pulled down or anything. He just dropped down onto the carriages, and so that was a bit of a waste of time. Tank time! Take it away, Azure! Da, 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 tank. So he sees in the in the form of booms, bombs, and he's just making his way. He's going to bring the car like a smart person, who we won't who won't pick. We won't we won't name names when I say uh.
bring in a car, just a tank last time. He's trying to figure out the uh, trajectory, what will be the safest way to send it down. So he's doing little love taps onto it each time now. He's got it wedged on a rock, and uh, that, that could be bad luck for him. He's, he's trying to send it flying over the rock, but he seems to be uh, grunting and moaning because he can't do it. As uh, we'll just alter, I think it got changed. Yep, it did get changed to slave as they're trying to get the uh, the car there as quick as possible. So this is what the tank's up to, and I think he just lost the car. Good job. Yeah, so the tank's now the all, almost all the way down the road to the carriages and. Uh, Heading over, he's going to jump over the carriage. Uh, we've got a, a hunter that's pounced in. The boomer is about to spawn, and slave CBC just throwing a bit of rocks at the moment because he can't get close enough as you. No, and he he lost the car. I'm under the map looking for it, for him as well, trying to trying to help. But where the hell did it go? He just fluked it, and it it went all the way around the world and disappeared. It, disintegrated from being so close to my awesomeness. So oh. that's bad luck there. So he's going to lose control. Um, he must be... He, yeah, must be running out of time. And nothing is good about a, uh, an AI-controlled tank. Yeah, so it's actually he's not allowed. He's done me stupidly slow. Um, I think because he is trying to assault. There we go. He's there come on go. through so he and he misses the head onto one. Zoe. Oh, he's failing hard. Yeah, he is. He's just missing everything. So, Tank at the moment is running around. He's surrounded by players, pretty much, and uh, running around behind some rocks now, trying to get some distance. And there you go. Turns around and boom, in the face of Francis. Francis goes down. Sorry, not That's a boom. It. It, was a, it was a smack of the Tank, so I'm sorry. Uh, and, um, well, just one hit at the moment. And now he's, uh, the Tank's just waiting for the rest of the team to uh, spawn. So, they're camping behind some rocks, uh, taking a bit of damage. There we go. There. And... Um, yeah, we're going to have a boomer come in. There you go. Tank gets another smack on oh. Francis. So Mr. Fass getting the hurt put on him as he comes through, getting a bit too close to the tank. Boom! Gets one boom. And the smoke oh, gets Zoe. Now luck. Zoe's trapped against the rock. Uh, taken three hits so far from the tank. Tank has managed to get himself set on fire. Tank is down. But, uh, well... In the end there, Azure yeah, managed to get a little bit of damage down, but uh, certainly just, well, I suppose as effective as uh, Team Autogy were with their tank. No, there seemed to, seem to be fear there. The uh, CBC boys didn't seem to take off as much health as I'm watching through Stone Doctor, who is indeed the smoker. He's, he's lagging behind a bit as he gets stuck in the tree. Good job, son. Stuck in the tree. And the boys have packed up. They have three health packs, one set of pills, and one molly. And they come through, and what is in there? Nothing. No, no, no. they got no, another, another pill. pill. And uh, a Julie, uh, a second pistol. So they're all uh, that's, set. That's at always the good. Uh, passing the pills around to those people who need them, I guess. Uh, two sets of pills at the moment. And it's Mr. an addiction of the chocolate. Pills. Probably get with the therapy from, from, from stuffing up his name. Oh, there you go. We've got a great combo coming in. Smoker gets Francis and, uh, sorry, Lewis, and uh, Hunter comes in, takes down the player nearest to him. So that was pretty good. Uh, Smoker got probably five or six back scratches in there. Uh, that was good work. So Autogy having to pass pills around, and I think Lewis is going to be the benefactor or the beneficiary of that. Oh, is that racist, saying Lewis is the beneficiary? No, it's, yes, it is. He got the pills. But uh, I'll let it slide. <laughs> Just don't say Lewis is on the benefit. <laughs> <laughs> well, currently uh, Lewis is on pills, so um, he's uh, uh, mething it I up. I bet they're this. illegal. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they, they are legal. No pseudoephedrine it's, in it's this. Uh, it's definitely E. Definitely Actually, no, no, no. It's got to be. It's got to be something with pseudo ephedrine in because uh, why else do they all of a sudden get energy and clarity of sight? <laughs> oh, we might have to uh, write to these left for dead makers, Valve, encouraging drug stuff, use, and uh, see if are, are they trying to promote drug use? Well, let's talk about weapons because I've been trying to since the start of the map, but I keep forgetting them. Got three shotguns and an M16, and that's me done. There we go. That right, was so that, right? they're, um, they're, yeah, they're just running around on the inside of this house, waiting for the horde to spawn. And there you go, the horde does spawn and comes through. So, uh, 
I guess Autogy just uh, getting themselves into a position where they're happy to go outside again. Um, just taking a bit of a break here inside the house, clearing the rooms, and there you go. They come out now, and um, while well, Boomer comes oh, through Boomer. from the roof, gets three, Smoker gets the fourth, and uh, the Boomer comes in now. He's, uh, he hasn't been blown up yet, gets a back scratch or whatever, uh, then gets pushed away, gets blown up, and puke all over the players yet again. So that's... Um, well, that, that was a pretty good move. Smoke is still up, and he's coming in for a back scratch, um, but he's well spotted, and Audigy, Mr. Face, with the help of the rest of Team Audigy, uh, take him down. So, yeah, shout out to Audigy, who are the sponsors of Team Audigy. So, I, I had an Audigy really? that I got before I came to New Zealand. I got it in Singapore on my way to New Zealand. Lasted seven years, and it just blew uh, two weeks ago. Went kaput. Oh, so you're an illegal immigrant right now? No, 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 no. That was just my sound card. So we've got petrol oh. cans galore all over this graveyard as Audigy push for the uh, push for the church. And uh, just before they get there, as was uh, as what happened to CBC, CBC has done. They do a quick attack on the outside of the church and uh, do very well at it. In fact, uh, as year because. We have one med pack used, and we've got two players in the red and two players in the yellow. Oh, this is oh they're doing a very different setup right now. They're going to stand in the middle, completely surrounded by fuel tanks. So they're going to do it the manly way. That's the manly way. That, that's me right there, having my rant, doing it the manly way. I'm going to beef it out. Go order wow. G. Go order G. They're going right back. Yeah, so I think this is going to backfire on them. So they're trying something new. They've uh, set fire to practically the whole graveyard and pushed all the way back to the uh, ambulance. But of course, uh, this means they're in the open and uh, under attack by the player infected. And uh, well, they got boomed and they got a couple of smokes and pounces down. Um, but well, they've gotten themselves all the way back to the house as year. So how very, very interesting from Team Autogy. They would snuggle up into the uh, into the toilet. I have to go third person to watch outside. They're gonna look to be just a huge swarm. No, no, it's not a huge swarm. It's about tw ten zombies just coming in. Smokers, boomers, boomer gets a couple kills. There's only one place to go into there, so they have that pretty much sorted. So that is that is well played. That is a different place. I've never seen this happen, and they are handling it like a new car. Good. Yeah. This, this is pretty line. good. So, um, so let's run through that again. They they set up uh, gas cans all over in the graveyard, and um, set off the event. Ran all the way back to the house, setting the gas cans on fire as they went along, and they're now in the house. And, and there is one uh, left. Yeah, they're just, just sitting in this closet here and uh, taking care of anything that comes through. And, um, well, they've got some, they've mixed it up with the weapons. They've got somebody with an assault rifle. I can hear it there. Um, so, CBC are saying, well, uh, you might have done that pretty well, but uh, now you get to come out into the open again. I'm listening to the guy in the safe room. He's making some freaky noises. you got to listen to him while I talk. Just listen to him. Just go stand, get free view into the, uh, and by the safe room, and just listen to him just screaming away, it's actually quite freaky. As the boomer does a huge jump off of the, uh, the roof, managed to blast two of them, so there comes the first mini horde as they have, uh, a, a, a hunter gets absolutely denied, so, a uh, creep denied, the, uh, a little shout out to Arcee for that one, as, uh, they slowly make their way back down, and they have a smoker and two hunters on their ass as we go, double pounds coming their way, and a smoker, one is being smoked, one is being pounced on, and will they get him in time before he gets in the class, here we go, are you listening to him in the safe room? Yeah, yeah, I can just sort of hear him through the door. It's freaky. Yeah, yeah, I think he's getting infected or something like that. That's what his problem is. So, here yeah, we he go. Autogy now in the graveyard for the second time. Boomer comes in from behind. He just gets a single player, but uh, there's still more gas cans here. So, I mean, there's, there's no Mad Max in the Thunderdome going on here. Plenty of petrol to go around for everybody. And uh, here they go. they still got another can, which I'm sure they'll set on fire in just a moment. 
Uh, one, two, three. There you go. Yeah, it's there we fire. go. And final attack coming in from CBC. This must be as uh, Orgy gets to the tank again. We had a pounce come in. They open the door. The boomer is waiting inside there. Uh, gets a final boom. Uh, that was Lewis. the person. That was the person in the uh, in the room. He turns into an infected. He's a chance to be a boomer or a smoker. Smokers use this boom is helpful. But and they managed to get inside. in there, so GG. So they managed to get inside with one health pack in hand. So 1,092 for that round. And you have to excuse me while I go do some more maths. You know what's going to happen. It's going to pop up right there. 2695 to 2139. So that, that math was insane. I'm sorry <laughs> to say. Oh, noob. So 2695 to 2139. So CBC have managed to just edge their way ahead in each map. And of course, that was their best round so far. The best differential um, of over, well, just over 400 points. And. Um, now, well, their lead is still not enough. You know, um, as you're at this rate, um, either, uh, you know, if um, Orgy have a big round, they'll just switch it around and um, move into the lead. 400 points is not a lot. Indeed. No, it's not. So I'll run you through this map. They start and they climb the church top tower. There's a chance to pounce them, jump them, whatever the hell you want to at the start as I um, break my spectator. There we go. So they come down, they can fall down or jump down, take the ladder and they slowly make their way past through the little, the little quickie mart and little stock houses around the, the buses which conveniently block the street. It's like it's set up or something. Across down through the little pathway, taking the road upstairs into the uh, into the poppy field forest. So hey, that has a name. Moving through through to the showroom at the back, along to another huge set of streets to a, a major open area, on to some some trucks through the door. This map is huge. Uh, through the offices, jumping down for the crescendo event. It's about 50%. They make their way down across the uh, crescendo event where the ramp drops onto. I don't know anything. Going across, going down. Huge more stuff happening. Excitement around down the alleyway and to a little mini bay, mini maze to get to the safe room, which is always a huge stretch because I have seen just players on no health because that is just epic. As they have made their way out of the uh, the safe room. So, Tim, what's happening? Yeah, so they're um, out of the safe room and uh, well beyond the churchyard. Uh, got themselves into the open there. Unfortunately, I was being a noob and trying to find my way around the map as you talked us through it. Um, getting myself thoroughly lost and... Uh, Not too helpful, am I? And, um, well, yeah, yeah, you are. They're already into the... Uh, we call it a dairy here in New Zealand. I don't know what you call it in Australia, but uh, they're out and um, heading past the buses now. So... Uh, Team Autogy just doing very very well at the moment. They're at um, they're at the news van, and here come a couple of pounces. But uh, Autogy are inside already, so uh, that uh, attack is called off pretty much by the Crazy Bill Clan here on the Cyber Gamer Left for Dead challenge for number one spot. Autogy the challengers at the moment as survivors, and uh, just taking it easy, hanging out inside this corner shop near the news van. They have one, two hunters, but everyone's pretty much spawned now. They have two hunters just waiting for them to show their uh, their lovely little faces. We've got a smoker and a boomer just waiting outside, just ready to pounce. Just not really pounce, because boomers don't pounce, do they? Ready to uh, to boom, and and a smoker behind. So, so let's see what. We'll yeah, he does what. Not ready. Spectator on a right. So that's interesting. What did you come out and? Um and uh, they they head around. Um, they kind of head he headed back to the florist, I suppose. Oh, a tank! Exciting. Oh, there you go. That's I guess that's what they were waiting for. They were waiting for the tank to spawn. And sorry, uh, a bit of a new mistake. They're not past the florist. They headed back past the buses. And in fact, that's what they're doing now. So they're heading away. I think there are a couple of cars here that the tank the, the tank can smack around. To kank. No. And uh, in fact, he is a little hatchback is getting uh, smacked into the air. They look to be stuck down pretty solid there. Is he? Oh no. Wow. Okay, so he's, he's smacking uh, this hatchback around. Move on to the second I, I lagged out and very hard there. And, and um, 
Well, in the meantime, we do have a bit of an attack going on. The boomer has come down to the Humvee uh, outside the church and managed to get a single boom on. Pouncer comes in. Uh, we've got two players over there, uh, Francis and Lewis. In fact, all four of the players from Team Autogy are down uh, at the end of this road near the Humvee to the right of the church. If you're the survivors and you come out of the church and you head down the road to the right, there's a barricade and there's a Humvee park there. And that's exactly where they are at the moment. Uh, so nice and in the open. So the tank at the moment, he's picked himself a dumpster and he's smacked it down to the Humvee. So he's just uh, getting things ready so that uh, when the rest of the players come in, um, which they are about to, um, he is well in position to cause some carnage. There you go. So we've got a hunter coming in for a pounce. Uh, gets one down. Tank comes in. Uh, the hunter's uh, down, but uh, Tank manages to get a smack on the player who's down. Boomer gets one. And there you go. In comes the uh, dumpster and in caps one of the players. So one player down, uh, Azure, and that is Jazz. Indeed, as there goes to be a second one about to be in -capped. as he gets just battered about, oh, the second one misses. Yeah, so the tank focusing. makes his way to a dumpster, there we go. Yeah, the tank... Oh, uh, did he get another one there? No, he didn't. No, 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 but he's uh, knocked the dumpster oh. twice over Per Francis, and... Oh, 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 oh there we go, the dumpster hits on default noob, and uh, Mr. Face. And now it's only Zoe that's up, and well, everybody's going for Zoe. Oh, the smoker had him by the time, but uh, the tank's dumpster came through and uh, freed her up. But and uh, so she's just up, and this is incredible. I mean, I don't know how she's holding on. There you go, smoker comes in and uh, grabs uh, Zoe and is going to finish him, finish her off. Good game there from Face, and that is the play of the match. As you wouldn't you agree? Indeed, that was a well-played dumpster. They just smacked it straight into his face. They go, it looks a little bit of a trick. It like he hit in front of him, and it went straight behind him. Just like wiped till the now. It's like ten from bowling. And 39 HP is the word from slave. And uh, medic was saying he was so out of ammo. So that was left of the tank. Yeah. So that was a bad luck. that was a good round if you play for the CBC. Um, Oh, did you see how many points there were? I missed it. No. Ah, ah. Missed the number of points there, but it couldn't have been very high because, uh, well, they were all the way back at the church and the tank just in case. 24? Pretty much. 24? Okay, so we're officially thumb sucking 24 points for Autogy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is 24. There you go. Oh, I had to get it right. Yeah, I thought it was tab, but this is your team's 302, enemy team 204, so I wasn't entirely sure because it's, you know, it's tricky me, so we'll just we'll just wait. As a yeah, I tell you, my my first um, Left 4 Dead shoutcast, I was totally screwed. I, I couldn't tell what the hell was going on with the scores. My team, your team, that team. Right, I think yeah, I'm a bit confusing, isn't it? Oh, good job. Yeah, something like that. Alright, so here we go. CBC is out. It's the Crazy Bill clan. And the smoker doesn't get a tongue pull. 17 point pounds? Oh, I, I missed that. 10 point pounds. So, and, and that was it, I guess. That was... <laughs> 17. Okay, so Mr. Face is upset with auto-aim. So I'm not sure exactly what the auto-aim did. I think... Uh, uh, Mr. Face was po quite possibly the smoker, and he QQ in. Yeah, <laughs> having a bit of a QQ, Mr. Face. And uh, all right, so CBC are into the dairy now, into the corner cafe. If you're in South Africa, uh, the little mini mart. If you're in America, I suppose. And uh, well, we've got T2 weapons now for the Crazy Bill Clan, and they are about to head out back into the street. So all the players are ready to Indeed. support this, yeah? Indeed, um, we'll see what will happen. And they have a chance to jump over the uh, sand barricade or walk around. doesn't really matter which way they go because, you know, same destination in the end. Just a uh, different path. We've got a smoker in the room. No, not in the room. He's outside waiting for them to uh, strike. We've got three hunters on the roof, so our triple hunter is always something very devastating. And uh, 
painful. You have to watch out for it very carefully. They might make the same if up they did last time and just pounce towards them at the same time and get absolutely destroyed by our... Here we go. Here they come. Oh, one, two comes one in. Is one misses and the second one hits. Smoker destroyed. comes in and... Uh, well, we still got a hundred There we go. <laughs> He was like, look how far you I can jump, five point and I can pounds. jump again, and I can jump again, and jump again, and jump again, and finally then he hit. So, uh, alright, so that wasn't that wasn't great uh, coordination from Team Audigy, who I have to say were pretty confident about this match. I spoke to a couple of them earlier, yes, the tank. and they were pretty confident. So yeah, the tank is here, Azure, do you want to take this one away? I will indeed. I will follow through the eyes of the tank as he, he can't find the car that was being flung around last time, so I think he's walked past it. But um, they have indeed made their way back to the last place they were, I think. They are same as last time. And he will hopefully find those trash cans. As I'm watching through the tank, he's just he's not really doing anything. He's trying to find that car. Has he, has he found it? There yeah, we he go. He's found the... Uh, hatchback. And there you go. He's yeah, going to yeah. have to so, try uh, and get it over these... Um, he's stuffed up. Yeah, he stood on it's it instead of it over. Oh, what's going on? There you go. Oh, it's switched over. So, uh, Medic is uh, the tank, and he's coming through. There you go, he's found a dumpster, and the Team Autogy are all inside. So, they're setting themselves up for getting uh, pinned, I think. Uh, it's kind of like they want the tank to come in. So, there you go, he's found another dumpster. Oh, but he's knocked it out. So, uh, sorry, CBC. Um, so here we go, Autogy are making the big attack, uh, the Boomer comes in, gets a double boom, Tank is waiting, and uh, now he comes in, so the Horde comes through, he's uh, camping behind the Horde, waiting for the Horde to go past, and uh, in fact doing nothing, he then runs away. So, he got uh, abused right then. Oh, okay, let's push uh, the dumpster again. So he's got a dumpster inside. Oh, this is going to be carnage. One player down with the dumpster. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, glitched. Oh. Is it what, what's it? It's stuck or something like that. There no, we go. go. There you go. He comes in and the players run past him, uh, trying to avoid. There you go. He gets one player as they go past. He's gone in to get the dumpster. Now the rest of the players come in for the attack. We've got a uh, boomer coming, oh, a uh, boom and a smoker, and uh, well, the horde is coming through. And is the tank down? The tank is indeed down. Francis is down. No, Francis ain't down anymore. So, Mr. So, uh, Face is saying, yay, glitch save. So, I think you saw that, Azure. What what actually happened? Yep. He flung the dumpster and it hit one person, but glitched into the uh, the racking. Just pretty much, he couldn't hit it again after that. He had to look away, wait for it to uh, decide, wait, I'm stuck, and come back down. They could have ended the game right there. Had it not glitched, it would have got the uh, perfect bounce and just took them all out in one shot. But the glitch did indeed save them, so that is just bad luck for them. And you can't really uh, dispute a match for the final top place. That's just, you know, that's bad sport. Yeah, so here yeah, oh, we go. There we go. Triple hunt. The smoker coming down. One has been down. Oh, what's going to happen? Fail. Oh, great. Skeeter there from Lewis uh, manages to take down the uh, the hunter that was coming in for him. Oh, back scratch. Just as I say that, uh, so that was Slave who was uh, thinking, thought he was being very clever, uh, smacking the. Um, just using melee on that hunter that was nearby, but the hunter managed to get a lucky scrape in, back scratch in, and uh, put him into the red, and in fact in capped him. So now he has to heal up. So uh, good game there, he's Mr. Slay. Yeah, so he's just used the health pack. But um, having said that, right. Azure, they got past the tank. I just found a toilet seat on a bucket. <laughs> They're all over. It's filled with poo. That's gross. <laughs> That's um, gross. You, 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 That's you, gross. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, and in the meantime, we've got another tech coming in. They threw the florist and across the street um, and into this next building. And a really good attack from uh, Order G comes in. Uh, just a single boom, though. And so uh, the players are indoors and are quite able to defend the horde that comes through. Um, so CBC doing, uh, well they're doing quite well I suppose, they've taken the tank down and um, they pretty much uh, at the moment are extending their lead as they push through into I think it's the third, maybe the fourth courtyard now um, where they have to jump onto this van and then up onto the ledge to go through. 40% of the way through. There you go, 40% of the way through. How do you know it's 40%? Is there oh, 40%? you press tab and it says it right there, average distance 43%. 
<laughs> Health bonus 150, 146, 144 as it slowly gets down. The uh, smoke is just banging and banging the, the back door on Lewis. Just banging the back door. You heard me say it live on air. That's, that's gross, isn't it? Yeah, with his tongue. It's too. for. So oh, gross. That's wig wiggle wiggle. Yeah, that's Tossing that, that salad. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a great smoke from Orgy Medic. Uh, pulling one of the players off the van and back into the doorway. So, got a good back scratch there. That was quite good. So, the players from the Crazy Bull Clan are now almost through the building and into the street where the event is set up. So, um... It's a Christian, one of my favourites. Oh, do you like this one? This what is the like only that? time... Only time I will pick up a, uh, a Hunting Rifle because I get a lot of kills, but that's just me boasting. Ha ha ha. Uh, Looks to be they are currently killing each other right now. Two of them are down. There's Jazz and Default Move as Spawning Smoker is up, and a Boomer comes down. Let's see if we get a uh, kill on, but no, he absolutely fails. But there'll be a Horde coming out as he uses the forklift, and it, it, it Fs out, slowly going down, and it's just like, oh... Oh, and boom, sets off a car. Don't ask right. how that sets off a car. They're going to rush it. So they're rushing it. Oh, they are going to rush uh, it. Many of their players are actually slowed. So, in fact, two of their players are slowed. So, oh, they had a pipe bomb in hand. So the pipe bomb goes down, and um, they're going to get past that. Oh, very nice. They put the pipe bomb just next to a car, and that caused the almost the entire horde from the event to uh, end up... Uh, around their pipe bomb. So I'm just, I'm looking behind and I'm seeing just like the hordes of zombies just coming after them, just like hundreds, tens of thousands, millions even, probably oh, okay, about 20, wave. maybe even 30. <laughs> yeah, there's about four waves, four waves. Oh I lucky, CBC, they found two. a gas can, a uh, petrol can, so they're well set that on fire. And that will deal with the horde. So now they're going up to the upstairs area and uh, they're going to head across this bridge quite confidently because they took down... Oh, 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 for a moment there I thought one of the players fell off, uh, but they didn't. Uh, quite confident no, the smoker was down. Off. Boomer comes in, gets a double boom. This will be the last attack, ladies and gentlemen. Double smoker, uh, sorry, double hunter pounce comes through. Uh, triple comes down. Uh, only two of them were boomed, so they quite comfortably get over the fence area over there and are into the safe room, completing the round and really pulling ahead now as you Definitely, and that is one of the most confusing bits of the whole game I have ever seen. You mentioned the first day this game came out, and people got there and thinking, where the fuck do I go? Yeah. Up here, around here, fall down, now I'm back to where I started. That's just me, because I, I stuff up each time. And the scores are currently pretty much halved right now, with 40-39s to 21-63. So, um, who has what score? Because it doesn't tell me. No, 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 so it's easy enough. Autogy on 2163 and CBC, the Crazy Bill Clan at number one spot and looking like the number one team um, with 4,039. Now, that is a differential of about 1,900 points, just short of 1,900 points. And I've got to say, it's mathematically possible. Autogy can still turn this it around is. if they have, basically, if they... Don't allow um, CBC to finish, and if they finish the round with all four packs. Oh, this is stage number five, isn't it? Yeah, stage number five. It's the last yes, one. It, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I thought I thought it was number four, and but I will midnight. run you through this. No, it's not. That's eleven thirty. But by the time both teams thought twenty minutes on each, that's about half past twelve. Because for some reason, two minutes of twenty equals an hour. So here we go, the match is live, and I will run you through the map. They have to go out the safe room door through the little uh, garage, and they have pretty much open house district suburbia right here. They've had a chance to get maybe 10 pounces, maybe even 15 if they're lucky. Get a bit of an arch on that roof coming through, going through the uh, main house, which is completely deserted, a bit barricaded with some weapons. I don't know what kind of people lived here, but uh, let's see. Looks to be a mother and father and child, or is that just a single bed in this house I spy? If so, he's a very lonely man. Dude, but after that, they dude, come through out, really out, out, out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> a single bed I spy. That's a called Who, urban anyway, out. exploration. Definitely. I go for it. Basically, I'm I'm a stalker by <laughs> trade. Hey, they're yeah, out. You should you should know this. They 
Oh, definitely. So they have made it out to the main street, so up to the main street, through the house, along the uh, huge backway door. And the tank has spawned, that is amazing, through into the uh, forest, past the little shack, onto the safe house where they call for backup and I'm going to hit my way back. I'm watching the tank right now and I'll give it to you. The tank is slowly making his way and he's on Main Street coming to the tents now. So this is where the action happens. Yeah, so uh, Team Order G oh, have really. got an early tank. So look, if they're going to turn around, this is the way that they have to do it. They get a tank right early on and they've got to make great use of their tank basically oh, to cap the entire team. What was that? He's doing huge throws. If you can see the tank, he's doing pretty much um, day old throws. Well, not day old, just like a day long. Just throwing them and they just fly for days. Yeah, he stands up on uh, one of the fences and uh, he, he pulls a rock out of the fence. It's pretty amazing. Uh, there you go. And oh, there you go. So the tank is timed out the back up. and has turned to. It was medic. Oh, it's still medic. medic. So no, I thought he had timed out. So, still sitting on uh, Medic, and he's uh, just waiting for his uh, players to respawn, uh, his, uh, his support, and hanging around behind the creepy stalker's house. I'm going to call it that, as you. My house. <laughs> it's your house, that's right. So, he's now he car. heads around the street, he's down at the one end of it, and he finds a car, and he pushes it, uh, or he bashes it down, so... Uh, there you go, boom has come in, it's got a single boom, and uh, the horde's pushing through now, so that's 30 zombies, and fire oh, on the tank, playing. and uh, well, it's not looking good for Team Order G right now, is it? No, it's not, as the, oh, was that glitched? Look at that car, that is definitely glitched. Yeah, so the car's stuck. Uh, stuck on a... Petrol can. There, there go. we go. It's been cleared. So while well, the tank has been burning all the way, and there you go. Uh, while well, the smoker gets a pull on a uh, on a player, but uh, the glitch card disappears. So the tank isn't able to do anything. So he has to run through and and do manual. Uh, Tanks down. Yeah, there you go. So the tank's down. Well, that was pretty uneventful, and Orgy will be screaming over that. Very very bad luck. Two glitches Definitely. in a row. And, um, well, I'm not going to say it now, but I think CBC has won this one. Oh, sorry, I just... Oh, you don't know, this one is... <laughs> this one is one of my least favourite uh, saving events, because out of all four events, the, uh, the plane, the boat, the helicopter, and... What's the last one? The APC. The, this one has the boat, and the tank can actually get on the boat, stopping them from leaving. That is one of the uh, the worst things to happen when the tank just sits on there and flings you off. It's it's a bit frustrating, but um, it's it's one of the the worst things I've seen so far. As we watch them go for a huge from some pounds, but he falls short and gets there. We go, Mr. Face is destroyed by Mr. Uh, Mr. Bomb Stone. Kills on the medic. Oh, great as, uh, medic! Oh my gosh, uh, Jazz is killed. Yeah. Medic is shot by Slade. Yeah, that would have been a 20 pounds That was least. epic. Yeah, he was just taken down, r jumped into a, a, a wall of bullets. And, um, oh, the boomer's come through, I think. I thought I heard a boomer. No, 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 there you go, he's still got a spawn. Yeah, he's alive. Oh, so he's spawned, but he's sort of running around behind, waddling around, having a bit of a play with himself. So, CBC there are now go. at the left-hand huts. So, they're almost at this riverside uh, lodge, I'll call it. And they're through the, le the little hut. And sorry, there you go. We've just been asked to spectate. Bit of a noob there. So okay, so we are uh, spectating. Big apology to Audigy. Apparently, we were on the HUDs um, for something. Not sure oh, I'm how sorry. that happens. I'm ashamed of myself. Yeah, I, I did well. actually respectate at the beginning of this uh, this map. I made a point of it. Um, and the boomer was upstairs. Oh, Gets a boom. Um, so they're inside the lodge now, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, the boomer's just got a single player boomed, and uh, so CBC are setting up uh, downstairs and just defending the horde that comes in. So this is the final event of uh, this match, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the, it's the penultimate, because of course, um, Autogy are going to have to come as survivors and do the same themselves. So what do we have in hand, as you for the players in terms of bombs and pills? They have four pump action shotguns, four med packs, two sets of pills, three monotons, 
and a pipe bomb. They currently have one, as I count them, one, one little gas tank, oh no, petrol tank, sorry, upstairs, and one downstairs for when they have to go outside. They currently still have four med packs outside and a set of tier two weapons to back them up and these day change. And here comes the first, uh, the first wave. We see a hunter on the roof. Three hunters, sorry, and they are. Here you go, hunters oh, inside. Forget the name of them. Oh, oh there, there we go, we got one, two pouncers and a smoker that grabs hold of a third player. But uh, unfortunately, the fourth hunter, sorry, the third hunter wasn't able to get the fourth player, and um, CBC were able to break out of that. But that could have been the game. Well, that could have been the round, I suppose. So yes. good, uh, good attempt there but from the really best coordination so far. So there we go, here comes the second little mini rush happening right now, the second spawn of the uh, the boys, they're all got a boomer, a hunter, two hunters and a smoker, but they don't get to choose their spawn locations, and they spawn straight away, so if they're like ages away and they're a boomer, that's just bad luck, they have been boomed on two of them, and the, the two hunters are just waiting around, it's just, uh, just dancing basically as the, uh, the CBC boys just pretty much fire as many bullets as they can because they can just Oh man, down just golden opportunity lost there. The, uh, the uh, smoker was underneath the jetty and um, Lewis came out all by himself um, and he was right near the edge. The smoker wasn't able to take opportunity. So the players from the Crazy Bull Clan are now outside. So they've defended the first uh, horde of the Crescendo and uh, a couple of Boomer hordes uh, that reinforced that. But uh, they are now outside. And, um, and here's the tank. Oh, he's on fire already. He, he can just walk into the water. He can walk into the water. Yeah, so let's see if he and does. He can, he's put yeah, out. there you go. Yep. He's smart. Yeah, so he took a little bit of damage. He's going to wait for his place to spawn, and we're going to see if we can get a combo going. But uh, so far, the Crazy Bill Clan have demonstrated that they know how to deal with a tank, and uh, they don't have any problem. They're pretty good at shooting that shit, my dear. As I swear again, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I don't think there's. Uh, it's not. It's not. Uh, I think Cyber Gamer allows us to swear. Something like that. There's not too much. Oh, can't really? Say like the yeah. fucking cunt. <laughs> I just did. Oh, you're so hot. Did the kids listen? Go to bed. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got the mohawk and everything. It's pink. Uh, it's so, well, um, Crazy Bull Clan pushing in now and uh, trying to get the hurt on the tank. Uh, they know that the tank, well, they know how to deal with the tank quite easily and bring those super shotguns in and just laying down damage. The tank is in the water and pretty much uh, in the open, completely exposed and uh, running for his life. Uh, trying to preserve himself as oh, we got uh, Boomer. he comes in. Oh, there you go. Boomer and a smoke at the same time. Uh, so the horde comes in on top of Lewis, but um, really they, they're coping with these hordes really well um, because still their health... Oh, we've had one med pack down. So um, at, at least there's that. One, uh, one health back down. Definitely. They are slowly whittling them down. They just need to be quick. Audrey are under a lot of stress right now. They have to stop them. They have to stop them. That's basically, they have to stop them. That is currently running through the head right now. We have to stop them. And as we saw earlier, they can bloody well do that. As we see our slave taking down the uh, Mr. Face. We've got, who do I have as I go space? The tank is just, this tank is still alive. This is amazing. And he's just he's getting absolutely like I don't know how he's still alive. I wish I could see his health. Yeah, the, I, I wish I could too as well. And uh, once again, it is uh, Audigy Medic who is the tank, and uh, he's at the moment inside the lodge. So he's hanging around inside the lodge upstairs, throwing stones or trying to throw stones through the window. As uh, Hunter is coming in, uh, gets himself up on the barbecue area roof, comes in for the pounce and misses. So there you go, finally gets a three damage pounce and Tank slave. is killed. And the tank is dead, yep. It cycled twice and suicided. So that is a safe way to uh, to keep, I don't know, keep shit sorted. And here comes the second set of hordes. Alright, so round two of the horde of this uh, final event here. They've got to just defend through this and is it one more tank again after this? I think the tank and the boat arrive at the same time. Or oh, no, yes, the tank then the boat. Yeah, the tank then the boat. 
So Boomer comes in, so that'll be another 30 infected, common infected coming through. Um, but uh, we're still waiting for, there you go, we've got a hunter on the roof and a smoker. Where's the smoker? Lost the smoker. I think he's downstairs. downstairs. Yep. Yeah, there he goes, downstairs. He's going to pull someone down, I think. There, oh, no, no, there you go. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got uh, three infected coming through. Boomer is spawned and he's spawned a mile away, so he's now just running in and hoping to get a boom. There you go, triple boom oh, from the Boomer. That was great work from the Boomer. And uh, so that'll just keep the action going for Team CBC as they have to defend here a little bit more. Um, but uh, so far they've done okay. Somebody found a health pack. We've seen... Oh, there's four of them outside. Well, there's only two of them now. So uh, that's, that's definitely good. There will need to be one to be picked up by Monsoon. As he, there we go. They all have four. Oh, what's happening? There we go. They've oh, lost another one. And they'll pick it up. And we're just waiting for Lois to pick it up. We're just waiting. Come on, Lois, pick up your health pack. You know, he's not going to pick up the health pack. What a bitch. No, no, no. There we go. He's going to come back and get it. It's just Francis. Yeah, Francis needs. Oh, okay, I mean tank Francis. Is here. I mean Francis. Tank is here. So it uh, looks like they're going on a pursuit for the tank, moving their way, and the tank is just going to, you know, run back as far as he can because, oh, as he nearly avoids two Molotovs, three Ooh. Molotovs, he's avoided all three Molotovs. That is well played by that tank. The boomer comes in, gets none of them. Smoker gets one, but manages to dry straight away, and then we'll see what will happen now, as it's all up to uh, the, the tank and spank to do something. Yeah, so the tank not really able to do much, uh, but run away and then uh, come back down to this area. Now, I don't hear any sign of the boat, so um, so I guess they've got to get past this You're tank at one more crescendo and then the tank. I think the boat arrives straight after the uh, the tank is killed, along with simultaneous crescendo. So uh puts the pressure on most definitely, and another tank usually spawns it out at the same time. Oh, and he's finally on fire. on fire, there we go. And uh, we've got a triple boom, but a pipe bomb in hand clears out that horde quite comfortably. And, uh, well, Mr. And Face tank is, is the tank at the moment. And, uh, yeah, he's on fire and running away from the water, and there you go, he's dead. So, well so done to make, Take this sweet answer to the jetty. Yeah, I can or hear the key. now. There you go, the final Man. horn sounds, and uh, well, we've got uh, CBC on the jetty at the moment. Uh, here you go, third tank, another pipe bomb goes down, and uh, uh, yet another pipe bomb goes down, and uh, boom, very good use of the propane tank, knocks the tank uh, away, but uh, well, he's still up and he's on the boat, and this is his best chance. So he's uh, knocked a couple of players right off the boat, knocked a third. So we've got two players in capped at the moment. We've got a boom that's gone down. Uh, one player up is trying desperately there we to go. go on. And fantastic work at the death there by um, by the tank and Team Autogy. So that's 200 points so for that, that round. They weren't able to finish. Not really. You want to speak to it, don't we? There you go. So I'm just readying up. And, and you've got to say spectate we, we in the... Uh, you say spectate in the... Chat. In the console. Oh, I, I type it with a little exclamation mark. No, no, no. You're supposed to do it in the console. Just spectate. Maybe that's what's been happening. That's why you can't see them spawning. Never. No, I can see them. <laughs> I'm sure I'm that. I just I just see them as glowing ghosts. Maybe that's me. No, so no, no, uh, we've got that one with you. For me, what did you boys? So yeah, I think it's the same thing. x ray Mark gives it the um, console thing. So I'm sure if you type ready in console, do the same thing. But I don't know, because... Oh well, let's just wait to see what happens. And this is all up to CBC to try and stop them. They need 2,100 points, which is indeed possible. They need pretty much four heals, four health packs, maybe a pill or two, and, and just party hard. 
Yes, yeah, so there you go. We are on, and this is the final round of this uh, Cyber Gamer Left 4 Dead challenge for number one spot. Team Orgy have the match to win. Really, that's what they've got to do. They have uh, 2,100 points differential to make up in order to get themselves into the lead. They have done what they needed to do by restricting... Well, they've, they've basically prevented CBC from uh, completing that round. Ooh, but, uh, oh, Boomer comes in. A great pounce over there. I think that was about 15 damage. Smoker comes through and gets one. Uh, and the Horde comes through. My word, that was a good first attack from the Crazy Bull Clan. Definitely, definitely. They left him, uh, well, at least a bit hurt with the bad. Oh, oh, here's the tank. This is just not looking good for them. They're about 20 damage off everyone. 25 okay, and on, they're hitting inside. Jazz. Oh, they're trying to uh, get up to a little roof bit. There we go. Watching through the uh, the default noob. He's just on a very safe spot, so that's good. As they're trying to, he's trying to hit a car in there, which will do him no good in that room. So Mr. Stone Doctor. Stop doing that, you silly bitch. Oh, that's a nice head on the car going straight over the pedophile I mean stalker's house. And it's just sitting on a... Uh, yeah, so what they've done the is bush. they have pulled themselves into a room and one of the players has got a Molotov. And, oh, well, in fact, several of the players have a Molotov. And there you go. The Molotov gets thrown out and the tank is on fire and he has to come in. Wow, bam, he gets one hit on Bill. Two hits on Bill. We've got a pounce that's come through. A boomer has come through and got one of the players. So uh, Bill is now in capped. He's down. Uh, tank gets a th uh, second. He's taken down. Lewis is in capped. Uh, tank turns around and no, wow, oh. that was hard work. But uh, the tank is dead. So interesting strategy there from Team Autogy. And we'll see if it's actually worked. Do we have any players that are actually dead? No. So they were just in capped. So. Yeah. Well, that was uh, that first tank very quickly dealt with, uh, Azure. Uh, well, uh, this 10 points right there, they just devastated them. Probably the worst place, well, not on the worst place, but they are a good place to, to stock up and hide. But that tank had it sorted. He pretty much knew exactly where to go, who to aim for, and he, he did it efficiently. He coordinated the attacks with his teammates, getting the boom down, the smoker, the hunter, and just, you know, bring it the pain! Oh, we've got a couple of pounces that came in and the smoker, so three-way combo. Boomer comes in to follow up and gets a boom on just one player. And, and oh, he's set on fire, and there you go, explodes from the flames. Um, but, um, well, uh, Francis, who is uh, Jazz, is just running around uh, with uh, Boomer puke all over him, batting off inf common infected with a propane tank. So, good game there. That's tough. Oh yeah, he's pretty hardcore. <laughs> so they're in the hut now, across you know that second open the expanse, and go ahead, as you. Did you know that a uh, a hunter that is on fire does more damage once he's pounced someone? The uh, the coin does, I think, extra couple damage. So it's when you see hunters on fire, you think, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it can be quite helpful sometimes. Yeah, so oh, the there we go. Does damage as hunter well. there you go. talking right out it, and it just happens. Yeah, <laughs> you called it, man. You should do shark cast. Speak of the devil. Yeah. <laughs> no, bro. It's just like, I know how to do this. <laughs> so, uh, Orgy at the moment, Eager's well, they, they are almost at the final rooms, and, um, well, their health is quite low. We've had two health packs used already, but, of course, they'll get all their health packs uh, that they need at the Riverside Lodge. So, they're just in the barbecue area now and clearing out the horde and getting themselves ready there you go one of the players gets himself a little bit isolated and gets uh, well he gets boomed so the horde comes in yeah you go another nice pounce but only four damage oh oh boomer comes in again and how many players have you got? three of them but what i was screaming at was the hunter jumped off a tree and he could have got 25 pounds i think it was from here but you can't really see me. But the uh, whoever downloads my demo can, if, if we upload my one, it was behind the uh, picnic house. Huge arc, and it landed on the doorstep, about a centimeter in front of Lewis. And I just, I thought that was gonna land. I'm, I'm let down. I'm gonna cry for a bit. So this boomer's doing great work. He's managed to get three booms. So 
There you go. He's finally uh, destroyed. So this is now a double man uh, on his third boom. So very good work there from whoever was the boomer. And it's the only one dead, so Monsoon. So a big shout out to Monsoon uh, throwing up with the best of them. Probably gets lots of practice on oh, the weekends. Two damage counts. And uh, there you go. So, well, this, um, this, this stretch seems to be let's just keep them rolling. Um, and uh, we've got a couple of med packs being used to heal up Jazz and Default Noob, I think it was. Yeah, Jazz and Default Noob getting healed. And, uh, of course, they've got a couple of first aid kits in hand. What's that? Okay. They stocked up and, and equipped them, and they have moved to the jetty. Yeah, so they're going to defend uh, outside uh, at the jetty as a boomer gets a double and the horde comes through. So they've got to just clear away that uh, horde. Smoker comes through, pulls Zoe off the jetty and into the water. Uh, she does uh, get rescued, but uh, she's now got to get all the way along the water. And um, she's getting chased by a hunter who gets killed by the rest of the players as he runs along. Of course, hunters can't pounce in the water. So that sucks for them. Anyway. Can't they? No, no. If you crouch down, you drown or something. Oh, it's not that you drown. It, it seems oh. to just fail. Or maybe that's just me. He gets water up his nose and he gets coughed a bit. Yeah, that's it. Oh, sneaky boomer. <laughs> so, oh. Uh, Pukes up over the edge of the jetty and gets a double. And uh, bad luck there for the smoker. He gets uh, a player, but um, they get stuck against the edge of the jetty here on one of these poles. So, um, yeah, you go. Pounce comes through. So it's all <laughs> on at the moment. One by one by one. Uh, kind of uh, almost. Yeah, one, two, three. I wouldn't say relentless because it's quiet now. But uh, CBC attacking the in first one tank. And twos. So let's see if we can find. Well, that wasn't even the, the uh, dude. That wasn't even the uh, starting the crescendo event. That's amazing. Thirteen pounds. Well, well done. There we go. They finally started the event. I thought they started it before. That's that's. Oh my gosh! I don't, I don't think they realised as well. Yeah, so the boomer comes through and gets a double again. And wow, one of the players that was boomed has been pulled off the jetty uh, and into the water by the smoker. So he is now isolated from the rest of his players and having to melee zombies away from him. him um, this is Medic, and the smoker is desperately wishing that he could recharge his tongue faster uh, because he's hiding there and uh, he could have gone for another one. But uh, no, here you go. We've got a player that goes into. Oh, um, I missed that. To try and get him. Oh, he's crouching behind the rock, and there you go, oh, he gets Francis and uh, pulls oh, him good. away, but uh, tongue gets shot off, and a hunter comes in as your second hunter. So this is definitely not going well for the uh, for the uh, CBC boys. I think, yeah. No, Autogy, sorry, Autogy. It's not going on for the Autogy boys. It's like this is getting absolutely destroyed by the uh, the pack. Medic is on about 10, 15 health, and he's just getting back scratched, front scratched, side scratched. He's getting internally scratched by pretty much every sort of anything out there. As we were watching Jazz move back into the, uh, the health pack, or ammo. And he gets pounced, so that is not going to be good for them. This is where they wish they had a hunting rifle. So yeah, got, that's good. So uh, we'll see the first tank happening, and what will happen now is uh, oh, oh no, this is not going to look good. I'm watching through all the wrong eyes right now. As here we go, Meta gets bitch slapped by the tank and sent flying. That's one hell of a backhand, I must say. Yeah, so Stone Doctor is the tank, and uh, he doesn't have any support at the moment, but, oh, that's a bit of a new mistake there. Uh, Medic, no, sorry, it wasn't Medic, uh, sorry, it was uh, Jazz, uh, got a bit too close, uh, trying to lay down the damage on the tank, and uh, got himself, um, oh, interestingly, the tank runs through the fire. He could have avoided it, but he ran through the tire. Uh, he was standing on top of the body of Francis, that's uh, default, uh, sorry, that's Jazz, uh, that he had incapped. And, um, oh, well, he got himself set on fire. Oh, is it all over, is you? What do you think? I, I got three think caps. Oh, she, she, oh, what's she going to do? If she eyes is over, she's going to try lifting up. No, she can't get to it in time. No, that was going to happen. It was going to happen. Oh, smoke in the fire. Oh, my God. There you go. Smoke has got it. Oh, she gets smoked. And no one can see her to shoot. 
Yeah, so there goes the health bonus. And they're going to end up with 200 points for this round as well. So, well, in the end, uh, that round was quite quick uh, to finish off Team Audigy. Clan Crazy Bill, or the Crazy Bill clan, holding on to that number one spot, Azure, uh, quite comfortably in the end. Definitely. The, uh, what is the final score as we send them both on 200? There we go. 42, 39 to 26, 63. To 2363. 4293 so to 2363. Well so they maintain that points differential of 1900 points and uh, turned their fortunes around. So last time, Audigy beat uh, the Crazy Bill Clan. This time, Crazy Bill Clan uh, just more together and uh, better prepared for Death Toll. Here on the Cyber Gamer, Left for Dead Ladder. And, uh, well, Big shout out to both of the teams. A big shout out to the admins, RC Nims and Zombie, who have uh, made sure that the server was ready for us tonight. Looks like we've got a winning config, guys. Uh, once more, congratulations to Crazy Bill Clan. This is Crisis and Azure signing out.